It's terrible wind noise, I know it. Wes and I have traveled to Tennessee. There's Wes down there. And we're hunting with Loy and Jeff. Digging with Seven and Tennessee Jeff. And look what this Yahoo's done done. He done caught him a big old black snake. Or a baby black snake. Is that what it is, black snake? <laughs> All right, you can put him back now. We're done. <laughs> no, you know what? I'm not a big fan of snakes, but uh, that is a pretty one. I'm not sure what kind it is, but it's an alive one, and that's I'm allergic to a live snake. So <laughs> terrible wind noise today, boys. Good find. Good find. There you go. Let him go. All right, I'm done. Trying to shield away from the wind right here, but my first find of any merit, uh, Civil War related, is this little round ball. Not sure if that's a pistol ball or I think it probably is, but Lloyd will know. I'll ask him here in a minute. But anyway, on the board with some artillery of some sort. Woohoo! All right, I got the boys coming. Now on the drive over here, I told them, I said, all I want to find is a J hook. I don't know what it is about J hooks, but I don't get to find many of them. I had a nice high tone here. And I just tossed it out, and I saw that it was a J-hook. See that right there? It's seen its better day, but I'm going to try to get it out of the wind if I can. It's so windy out here today, but break that little unit out. And there you go. Nice little J-hook here in Tennessee. That's what you said you wanted. That's what I said I wanted, and I got it. So I'm tickled to death with that. What are we going to say we want, Wes? We want <coughs> you want a gold coin, Wes? Yeah, a gold coin sure. and a plate. I'd settle for All a plate. All right, man. Eagle. Tickled. All right, cool. Let's keep eagle. going. Yeah, I'm gonna get my Ooh, machine Jeff machine. just brought his 58 over. He's found a couple of those 36s like I did. What is that? I don't know. It's a piece of lead. Yeah. Somebody well, got said bored. Maybe they used it for a pencil or something. Like that snake that you found earlier is what it is. Yeah, that's what I found did. one of those small little 36 pistol balls too. Did you? Yeah. But. Got a couple of those. And then... What'd you think, buddy? I got me a J hook. Congratulations. I'm what you said happy you wanted. with that. Yep. I want one that's perfect now, not one that's all bent up like it's been carrying some stuff. Yeah, I did find this. Yeah, we'll see. All right. We're gonna give Jeff credit because this is his hole. He left it. Check out that J hook. I said I wanted a pretty one, and he got it. Look at that. Thing is fantastical. Actually, I like mine better. Mine's got character. Character. Character, Lloyd. That's what it's got. Look at that rascal, man. That is pretty. It is nice. Look at that. that In is ideal perfect. shape. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Here he comes. Mr. Perfection. Yeah. I tried to get your attention, but you can't hear. I can't hear. Winds are blowing at 43 knots. I don't even know what knots are. Well, that's what you tie in a string. That's what I'm going to pop on Jeff's head. That's what I'm going to pop on Jeff's head if he keeps finding all my J-hooks. Yeah. Well, it's a pretty one, isn't it? That is. That's Shut up. One. Shut up. We don't care how pretty it is. Mine's beautiful. Mine's like a Van Gogh. Yeah. A Van Gogh. Yours yeah, has got character. All, it does. It's a... It's yeah. a uh, See, a Confederate soldier ripped it off his back. Yeah. That's, that's what it was. Oh, that's what it was. Probably fighting a bear or something. Yeah. But. All right, I'm going to go find some more. And no more camp lead. That's what I've been finding. But that's a good sign. Yeah, so. that's a good sign. We'll yeah. keep going. Well, I forgot to mention that I'm running the GPX today. Uh, we came out, Wes and I, to hunt with these guys, and uh, and they said this was a camp uh, not far from a railroad. So, anyway, I had a good high tone in here and dug it and dead centered it. And uh, come on in here, bud. And it's a button, I can tell. I have not looked at it yet, but it doesn't look like it's in very good shape. Is, oh, you see the shank on the back, mm -hmm. but I don't know what it is. Let me hit it with the brush real quick, and I'll show you. Well, it's falling apart, long. so I'm going to leave it just like that. You can see the crest in the middle, so it's general service. I got it upside down right now, but anyway, hopefully we'll find a good one. All right, I called Loy over to show him my button, and he's got something to be pulled out. said he's already got it on film, but I wanted to see it. Right over here. I'm going to get on this side, Lloyd, because the 
There it is right there. Check it out. Knapsack triangle. Yep. Check that puppy out. That is beautiful. Man, it's noisy out here with the wind. It's terrible. That is. That's a little bit smaller. There's some that are bigger than that, isn't there? Uh, I don't know. That's pretty well. I don't know. That about Maybe what you normally. That's normally what we find. Well, that's cool. That's a dandy find for sure. Let's keep going. There's loyal over there. Now, I came through, and this is where Jeff had found his stuff just a second ago. He said it was deep. Um, he's running a stock coil. Sorry, I'm pointing it down, guys, because the wind is really bad. He's running the stock coil, and I'm running the 12 by 15, so I thought I'd come back over his little handiwork here and check him. Well, had a really good tone. It was faint, but you can see I just exposed it right here. I'm waiting for Lloyd to come on over. Come on over and get you some of this as she comes out. Well, I saw the tip of it right there. Looks to be a 58 drop. But it's right down in the bottom of the hole, dead centered in the hole. Yes, it is. Right there it is. Yeah. Beautiful. It's been stepped on. Actually, is that 69? No. no. Just been so long since I've held a bullet, huh? Yeah, I guess. Do <laughs> you have a DIV 40 like we did? Yeah. yeah, I did find some there, but anyway, that's pretty cool. Tickled with that bullet, and that's going to kill Jeff because I found that right in his path. Yeah. Anyway, we'll keep going. I love this. Now we're going to speak to Check this out, guys. Since you got the camera on, can you? That's a turtle. That's a turtle. <laughs> Pop that sucker out, Jeff. I want to show you what you left me. Uh oh. That's a little one, isn't it? 54. You know, why do I even guess? Not 58. Mm. Party. Star base. <laughs> you ain't seen the base of that. I can tell by the weight. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that little extra I'll for the star. The star base. <laughs> good job, Jeff. Well, I had a good low tone here, guys. And uh, finally fished it out. And look, guys, I think it's a coin. Sitting right there. You see it? Just got down to it. Not sure what it is. Hoping it to be at least an Indian. Oh man, I can't tell. I'm gonna have to toothpick it, I think. Yeah, I got one too. Let me toothpick it real quick and we'll come back. Alright, I'm videoing this just because I said I would, but oh my, it is a wheat penny. That's a heartbreaker. That's a heartbreaker. But it's a coin and we didn't expect it, so we'll keep going. Well, I'm still working the same area here, guys, and I uh, had a real good tone. And you can see right there, I just popped it out. Look at the worms. Man, the worms are everywhere. I love worms. Not just for fishing. But, another 58, and this one's been mouse chewed or something, looks like. Seen a better day, I should say. Anyway, yeah, that's cool. I always love finding the three ringers, and that's number two for the day. For me. Let's see if we can get number three. Woohoo! Well, Lloyd's been wanting me to, uh, it's trying to block the wind, you see my hand there. Lloyd's been wanting me to get him a faint signal so he can see what a bullet sounded like. And Man, I tell you what, I went deep on this one. I'm over 12 inches. Check it out. I just scooped it out. Sitting just like that in the clod. So I'm probably going to take that over and show that to him that way. But that is awesome. Number three. We'll go for four. This signal right here was really loud but it was smooth <laughs> there was a part of me that said don't dig it because it was so loud um, but I'm glad I did because check it out guys it was just nothing but a shallow bullet and I want you to look at that that is there's the bottom of the ground right there that's a two inch bullet and it sounded really really good so I went ahead and dug it and uh, anyway Louis coming over so we're gonna film it real quick woohoo well, here's another bullet, and I actually tossed it out. It was right on the bottom of the plug. As I cut in, I cut in from the side, and it was just right down at the bottom. So, cool, another 58. 58 drop out of this camp, so tickled with that. Let's see if we can get some brass. It's windy as all get out. But Cat Daddy got him one. I'm not going to tell him what I got over there. 
that it right down in the bottom? That's it right oh, there. Oh, yeah. I've dug four million things that sounded just like it. Yeah. And there's been mashed, but... That's all right. My first one was mashed, too. That's a sign of things to come, Loy. Yeah. 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 Starbase. You probably don't want to come see my bullet, do you? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do want to come see it. I'm going to go get it. I just saw it. Yeah. I just seen it. <laughs> you just seen it? Yeah. I got something up there. I'll dig it. What do you think it is? Uh, probably not. Get me something to drink. Yeah, I think I'm going to join you. Again, I apologize for the wind, guys, but you can pop that one out wind. from about seven. She's a purdy. Yes, it is. Looks yeah. like it's been hit by a plow time or two, hasn't it? It don't have the patina on it, that though. It still really doesn't, huh? It's kind of a gray. Yeah, look how it's been hit by the plow a few times. Yeah. Ain't nobody going to argue cool. that that's a I'm gonna Civil keep War her. bullet, though. Yep, for sure. Well, we just stopped and had a bite to eat, and a landowner from next door came next over door, yeah. and was telling us some history about his place and invited us down. So we're going to do that, but I asked the guys if I could dig one more bullet, and they said, yeah, okay. And look here. Right there. Just got down to it. Really good signal. Lloyd, you've been over this spot like 20 times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got to change the plan. Me and you are going to stay over here. Jeff and Wes are going to go over there. Okay. Because uh, there's there's a couple of things in play. You don't ever walk away from relics to find relics. Exactly. And but this is this is about Wes. We want Wes to find. Us. Heck yeah. But he can't find Heck it. Heck yeah. And he might over there. Just gave Lloyd the sign for another bullet. I can't believe this. This uh. Hadn't got it out yet, but I see it right there. Thought I'd bring it out. That thing was about eight and a half, nine inches. So it is stepped on, or chewed on, or carved on. Looks like it's carved on a little bit, maybe. You guys see that? I don't know. It could have been hit by a plow. Probably what happened, but it's another one. I'm happy with it. We're still going. Jeff and Wes went to the neighbor's property. Um, I'm working out away from where we've been finding everything, and I've dug some camp lead, uh, fired 22, had a good high tone, I mean a good low tone here. Got down to it. Check it out, guys. It's a round ball. I don't know what caliber it is. I really got to learn my calibers better, but I know an old boy who will tell me, and he's on his way right now. So. That is cool. I have no idea what caliber it is, but happy with it. It's a lot of bullets I've been pulling today. That one was about seven inches, maybe eight. Sounded good though, so. All right, guru of everything bullet, what caliber? Oops, I got it. I can find it, I got a metal detector. Is it? A 69 caliber round ball. Caliber. Excellent. Uh, they would take that. In fact, well, I thought you could see the little dimples where the three buck balls are. Right, uh huh. Uh, you can look at it. 331 yeah. caliber buck balls. Cool. Well, excellent. We'll see if we can get some more. Well, I just told Loy that this was a, another good sound. Dead centered it, just popped it up from down there, which is another about eight inches. And it's another 69 round ball. So, into a little patch here of them, and we'll see if we can dig out some more. Well, we are working hard, it's still windy. And uh, <laughs> I just got another mini ball. Just popped it out. 58. Man, this is a really good day for me. Kind of feeling a little bit of guilt, to be honest with you. My old buddy Wes, though, that dirty dog found him something nice there over by an old cemetery, um, which was where the original roadbed was, and they're hunting a church that's no longer there, hadn't been there for a long time. Anyway, the, the gravestones date from 1820 to 1919, 
and uh, Jeff and Wes went over there. So Wes got him something good. I'll have to show it to you here after a bit. But I'm tickled to dig these bullets. Hopefully get another good button. All right, guys, we're still at it. We might just have to go till the sun goes down. Jeff and Wes took off with our vehicle. I just pulled one from 10 inches, and uh, it was kind of a quiet signal. But you can see I just popped her out, and it's laying right there. So another three ringer. I have had a good lead day, wouldn't you say, buddy? Yes, you have. I done good. You ought to be ashamed. <laughs> I am just a little bit. You know, I might just have to buy dinner for everybody tonight. You don't have to do that. I'm glad it's Wes has still got a fault. Oh, I can't wait to see it. I can't. And we'll see you. I hadn't told anyone yet. But we'll we'll see, show it when we get there. All right, I'm going to close her up. I want you all to look what Dunn showed up in me and Lloyd's field. Go digging. I haven't told them what you found yet. Hunting an old church site. There's an old cemetery. And you bucket listed. I did. Let's see her. You still got the shakes? A little bit. I think it's for the lack of water, though. <laughs> Check it out, guys. 1853 seated dime. That's a first for you. Oh, back Strange was pretty. Does it have a mint mark? No mint. No mint. How'd that make you feel? I wish I'd have had that phone call recorded. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I never heard you, so you gave me goosebumps. I got goosebumps. <laughs> yeah, Good I got job. the chills. What'd you find, Jeff? Memorial. Sweet. 60s or 70s? 80s. Sweet. Man, We're children of the 80s. I am, anyway. So, All right, man. Well, we're going to keep plugging away. Y'all take a look at Jeff sitting in the vehicle drinking him some Wawa. I came out here and got a signal right in front of him. And I started shaking my head. And check it out, guys. Right down there. Another beautiful mini ball. Wow, check out the white on top of that one. That is awesome. Huh. Beautiful bullet right there. Put it in the pocket and keep going. All right, I am starting to feel guilty now because no one else is finding bullets and for some reason they're just absolutely coming to me. Just popped another 69 round ball. This one looks like it's been fired or it might have been just hit with a plow. But anyway, got another one. So I don't know, it's close to 20 I think. That's a good bullet day for old Jeffy. We'll keep going.